Morning everybody, it's a throwback Thursday video today. Um, this is in addition to our usual weekly uploads, but I thought I'd share this one with you anyway. It was taken back in 2014 and uh, it's just the family going out for a long walk up on the Ridgeway and uh, we go out geocaching. Um, we've done it for a number of years up to this point and uh, we were pretty good at it and we just discovered a, a fairly good trail along the Ridgeway that we wanted to go and participate in. So uh, off we set with some rucksacks, we put some food in our packs, um, I took my uh, firebox, my folding firebox, and uh, we're all ready to have a bit of an adventurous day out. Now this video originated on my other channel, my original YouTube channel, which is my radio um, geek channel, I suppose you can call it, um, but it just was a, a, a random one that we put together, and it was just the day out uh, of us lot, enjoying ourselves. Um, so a couple of things before you watch it, uh, my editing skills were not so good back then, um, I don't have any of the original footage so I can't re-edit it, um, and the camera I was using back then was not as good as the one I'm using now, so hence the reason why the, the, the cropping is taking place. So uh, sit back, enjoy it, uh, it's only a few minutes long, apologies for the wind noise, I've tried to do as much as I can for that, um, but uh, it's a real insight and a real eye-opener into us as a family. Um, and you can certainly see some differences in us only from 2014. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, sit back and uh, enjoy this Throwback Thursday. Well, I hope you can hear me through the wind noise because I suspect it will be a bit busy. Let me see if I can cut it a bit better. Well, today we're out on the Ridgeway doing some geocaching with the family. There's the uh, little kiddie winks. <laughs> There's Mrs. Uh, there's me, out on the Ridgeway today, finding some geocaches and we're going to stop off at uh, Four Mile Clump, which is the name of the cops, and have a little bit of a brew, and then carry on. Oh, and the wind's just died down so you can probably hear me now. Anyway, let's carry on. We're not going to reveal the location of the geocaches, are we? No. No. And, uh, the other two are just doing it further up there. Yeah. We're on our way towards uh, Four Mile Clump. Yep. That's the name of the woods, isn't it? Yes. Where in the backpacks we've got some food, mm -hmm. brewing materials. Yeah, coffee. Coffee, um, water, milk, sugar, donuts. Donuts, yes. Yeah, we've got all the essentials yeah. to go out with today. So uh, let's keep carry on. Just getting all these things to keep us warm. Yep. Yeah. Geocaching as we go. So we'll carry on up to the woods. I think that's the woods over there, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah let's carry on. Let's move in it. Sadly, we're going to have to leave Thomas here because he's now caught up in the brambles of the tree. <laughs> he's slid down already. <laughs> and we're just going to have to leave him here. Tom, we'll send you food every week. Uh, it's okay, I've got the backpack. you got the backpack with all the food in it. <laughs> well, this is geocache number three of the day. I think we've got another four or five to go before we make it up to the woods which are just over there. That's four mile, uh, four mile cops, no, four, I don't know what it's called. I will find out on the map because I did put it in as a bookmark on the map. We're having a lovely day on today, Saturday the 18th of January. And uh, okay, it's not a sunny, glorious day, but do you know what? It's a good day to go out for a walk. What a beautiful, beautiful scene. <sighs> right. How many caches have we got so far then, guys? Casualties. Caches. Caches. Yes, either four or five. Four or five. Yeah. Can't remember how much it was, how many it was. Um. But that's okay. So we've stopped off in the woods. We're at Four Mile Clump. I think that's the name of this woods. Mm -hmm. It's a really um, neglected woodland, actually. There's lots of fallen trees. And there's one cache which... We haven't got, which is what, 20 metres away from where we are at the moment. Something like that, yeah. Anyway, it was 22. 22, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Anyway, so we've stopped for our little bit of lunch. We've had our obligatory bacon roll. Thomas is smoking. You can see. <laughs> the dog is mesmerised by the sausages. The dog is mesmerised. We've had to get reclaim him once from cat running after a, a truck that was down here. But this is the woodland that we're at. It's really cool. It's really nice. Place for us, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Just having a nice family day out so far. And I'm looking forward to home to the journey home neither. 
<laughs> I've just got some sausages on the go. We've got uh, some hot drinks now. We've bought some water, made ourselves a nice cup of coffee. We're making one for the dog. We've got a sausage on for the dog as well. And uh, the wood is really wet today, yeah. but it's okay because we've been splitting some little bits of branches off. And with the best help of um, and, uh, wet so, fire, wouldn't it? Well, wet fire was meh. meh. It was oh. some uh, fire lighters, crumbled up fire lighters that actually got going in the end. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, the firebox is doing its trick. I've got my poncho down that everybody's sitting on, apart from Mrs. T, who sat on my yeah. comfy seat. I'm not sitting on it. You're not sitting on it. I'm gonna. And uh, yeah, it's good. And chops. He's just been chopped. Who's a good boy? Hey, you having fun today? Hey, are you having fun today? You're gonna have a sausage. Sausages. <laughs> sausages. Yeah, yeah. Good lad. He's a good boy, aren't you? Right, no doubt. We'll catch you when we're on our way back. Well, if the stay of the dog was anything to go by, we show that we've had a really good day out. Hey, Chops, who's a good boy? Hey, he's been running through every single puddle. As you can see, this was a clean car. Uh, we just had it valeted, actually. And my boots, pretty indicative that we've had a good day out. Mud slogging, what a day. So, anyway, well, here we are now. We're at the car park up at Barbara Castle now. The kids just wanted to find one last geocache which is up here in the car park somewhere so uh, they've just walked off and I'm just loading up the car and cleaning the dog out and sorting the dog out who is shattered aren't you mate hey aren't you yeah Ooh, good day eh did you find it Yeah? Yeah, well, we had a good idea where it was. I swear it literally deliberately makes us go another way. And when it says to go back, it's, um, you can see it in plain view sight. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, yeah. There we go. The truth of the matter is, on that day, we did walk an awful lot. We walked, I think it was about uh, 10, maybe even 12 miles that day. We, we did walk a long way. The dog was shattered. He was very muddy, but he... He, it took him a long time to recover from that little walk. Um, halfway through the day, he decided to go and chase after some four by fours that were you know, going through the uh, the muddy tracks there. He just decided to up sticks and run after them. That's the reason why we walked so far because uh, we had to go and reclaim him. But uh, it was a lovely day out. Um, we did do a few more of those days out as well. I took the, the folding firebox with me. Uh, we went out and we did some more geocaching etc and if you're not entirely sure what geocaching is don't worry we're going to be sharing that with you this year showing you how you can get into it and uh, showing you some of the things that are um, advisable to do um, we use ourselves a little gps module like this one which is the one we were using on that day in fact um, it was a, a lovely day out and uh, i hope this video has been of interest to you normal service resumes tomorrow and uh, until then we'll speak to you again soon Bye now.